It's seven o'clock. We're ready to rock. It's July, and you can rely on us to make you smile. <laughs> <laughs> Started strong and uh, and quickly, progressively got worse. Oh. All the um, titles. Yeah, uh, yeah, brilliant. There they are. <laughs> Welcome to the Okotoki Podcast, everybody. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful time. I hope it's lovely and sunny wherever you are listening in the world. At the moment, boys, Egypt, Egypt, they can't yeah. get enough of the show. Yeah, it's the, I think it's the Are You On A Laugh thing. I think it might be you, Ad. Is you that a catchphrase, is it? Big in Egypt. <laughs> also, it's not really Isn't Adam's catchphrase. Take off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did love it when you said... You, you said once, you know, and we could have this catchphrase. And it's like, isn't, isn't this not your catchphrase, though? <laughs> you know you didn't create this catchphrase, right? Yeah, I did. It's just you like... You know, all, all the greatest musicians, all the greatest musicians borrow stuff. So, if, you know, mm. I'm not going to name names or bands, but I could do, but mm. they have nicked stuff off, like, old classical, you know, Bach, um, yeah. uh, Mozart, Beethoven. I mean, they've that. also so all been if, if by you... a massive solicitor. Yeah, they have been to court about those those but, little borrowings. Uh, but if you are a composer and you've and you die a hundred years later, that song is now up for grabs. Like you can you can use bits. Yeah, them's the all we copyright. need is for Ricky Gervais to a kick the bucket and then to wait it out a hundred years. We can have that catchphrase. <laughs> That's essentially what ours. Adam's saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gervais to die. How old's Gervais? In his fifties or something? So he might yeah, live for another fifty got, years. Yeah. So let's put let's put 175. Let's put 200 years on it just to be safe. Yeah. And then uh, then we can pop the oh, uh, the oh. patent in for it. And we can use it again. We can use it again. Um I'll so yeah, welcome back work. to the Orca Turkey podcast. Guys, Adam West got July, what? bro. It is I July. I believe it's July. It's crazy. Mm. How have you been with the Euros? Have you been watching the Euros? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, every so day. Should, yeah, it's been really let good so far. Know right now that the, the day of filming right now, even though I just completely fooled y'all with going <laughs> it's July, it's actually June the seventeenth. So we're still in the group stages of the Euros. So mm. boys, like we did for I'm a celeb, predictions. predictions. Who's gonna have it? Go on, Westy. Is it coming home? Is it? F- <laughs> <laughs> no, I think France. I, th- I think France looked too strong. Fran- France are very, very good. I think. I think they're going to win it. My money's There's on a- Portugal. There's a little bit of me having watched France play recently that wants to agree with Adam, but also you I can't. can't. I can't ever bet against England. So as far as I'm concerned, oh, shut it's coming up. home. It's never coming home. It's not going home. Yeah, you know what? No, the only I, thing that's I'm, going I'm home is that my. my with a tail between the Fighting legs. Up the M4. Yeah. <laughs> Back up to Hull. Um, I think, Following the Welsh look, bus. France. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you might get a good slipstream. <laughs> that will save on fuel, by the way. Um, I think. <laughs> My dad used to say that. Get, get really that close to the right. van. Dad, we're going to crash. But we'll <laughs> save so much money on fuel. <laughs> well, yeah, I haven't got any legs and anymore. You can put the. <laughs> You can put the gear stick in neutral and it will just roll like right down, line it right up, get right behind it. Um, my heart, my head, now my head is obviously is saying France because they look immense, but there's England. This, I think, I we could if get you to the final say, if you say happen. right now, it's the strong, it's the strongest squad we've had forever. You say, you guys, you say that every. F- Euros and every World Cup are the strongest squad we've had forever. Piss off. Um, <laughs> on the subject of football, though, boys, um, and football is uh, is coming home in some respects. It's coming home in some yes. respects because next week, <laughs> next week for the. Did you see what I did there? What are you laughing yeah. at? I'm just laughing at Carl because I saw a little competitive glow in his eye. <laughs> Because he knows what's coming. But next week, for the first time, not since lockdown, not since COVID, not since any of those things, but for the first time since forever, 
the three of us are going to be in the same place at the same time recording a podcast. I'm still against this idea. Right. Well, we'll talk about the idea a little bit more in depth in a moment. I've just um, been meeting up. I'm quite happy on this Zoom call. <laughs> it's it's going to be weird, and I've, I'm going to edge my bets that there will probably be Fine. elevated levels of excitement from from certain people. But next week on the Awkward Turkey podcast at seven o'clock when we're ready to rock, the three of us will be together. The three amigos. The three musketeers. The three... Stooges. Yeah. That's going to happen next week. And we've got a... Brilliant. Um, <laughs> pop that one in the scrapbook. Uh, Don't pop I, it in the scrapbook. Put the good ones in the scrapbook. That is a good, good ones. <laughs> but I think, um, I think because it's it's around the time the Euros are going to be on TV. I think there's certain levels to us maybe taking on a challenge that's I'm going to say out of I our. I a good name zones. for it, Tom. I got a good name for it. A football-related challenge that ties in yeah. with the three of us being together for the for the first time in forever. Mm. I got a good name for it. You know, you know, as none of us will ever be famous enough to get on Robbie Williams's team when he plays, you know. Soccer oh, for soccer aid, aid yeah. Soccer yeah. Aid. Shocker aid. I'll leave it there, boy. It's a good name. Not having that name. Have it. Save that for like um, someone else. What shocker aid? It's good. What do you it's want to be good... called? What do you want to call it? If you if you if you want to change the name, you've got to better it. Well, you might you boys might be shocking, but I'm open to. Oh, well, I'm gonna wait, break I've before. A, I, I'm gonna play this little bit of audio for you just before we start, because Adam Adam sent me this lovely little voice message the other day. Let me just turn this up fully here and I put my microphone onto the computer oh, just for God. everyone at home so that they know just remember remember how confident he was at the bake-off I do it, come here, come here, come here. hang on sorry sorry Tom can you just play that footage just, just slot into you that footage of Adam telling us how great he was at the bake-off can you just you mean start starting an episode where we had a competition yeah. in in a very 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 confident place here's that footage now I'm not going to need the help. I got 10 out of 10 in year 9 for my Victoria Spud. This is in the bag. 10 out of 10 in year 9. 10 out of 10 in year 9. 10 out of 10 in year 9. So yeah, this, is now, this is now a new challenge because we're going to go... New challenge and, and this was a voicemail that I received off Adam <laughs> only three days ago. You ready? Yep. When I played football, I was a defender, so I left back. I was quick, good in the tackle real good stamina brilliant fitness and could cross the ball yeah so should be interesting now no, you've edited interested that interested you have edited interested. that <laughs> you've edited that i just want to say i was quick then what i said because afterwards good in I said... wait no, 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 let me just repeat what you said <laughs> i was quick good in a tackle yeah real good stamina <laughs> brilliant fitness and I could cross a ball. So, yeah, it should be interesting. It's not no, going to be interesting at all because we've seen you over the last couple of weeks on Instagram. Yeah, all training. Instagram, it, from, from someone who was playing Taekwondo, all he does now is keep balls up. Right. So that voice message has definitely been edited. What I then went on to say was... What, you mean this voice message? <laughs> when I play football... I was a defender, so I left back. I was quick. Good I've sent you another one. Real good stamina, <laughs> yeah. brilliant fitness, and across the ball. Yeah, so should be interesting. But right. I need to, be interesting, I need to say, my friend. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What I then need to now say is I was <laughs> cut a defender. This out, Tom, cut I, this am, out. I am not a strike of the ball. I don't take penalties. I'm not a shooter. So I was a very good defender, but. Good in stamina. terms of shooting, it's going to be. Brilliant I'm going to be the, on your level. What well, what we should and tell you is cross the ball. Good we are tackle. we are for for next week's episode. We're gonna we're gonna get together. Adam and I are gonna travel to Swansea, and it, it while we're in Swansea, we are gonna do um a shocker aid shocker aid esque football episode where we do 
Um, I think like a, like a pet, there's, there's so many different football challenges that we're going to do on the pitch together. It's going to be filmed and recorded as an episode. And that's important to know because we've known we're going to do this for quite some time. We thought we'd tie it in with the Euros being on telly because um, I think the final of the Euros is on next week. So it's perfect timing for that. Um, and it became very apparent very, very quickly because with the baking one, I think we all <laughs> arrived at the baking episode with sort of a, we'll just see what happens type thing. And I think because Adam lost the baking episode so catastrophically, ten out of ten in year nine. I feel that now we're on the next challenge, which is football. Adam may have been like on the phone to like just having professional football lessons. Yeah, he's I been mean, on the phone to David Beckham for the last week getting some tips. <laughs> but for me, obviously, this is going to be a return to form because obviously I was a semi-professional yeah, bro, you, footballer back you, in the when day. When you were so. a professional footballer, I remember I was... in one of the first few episodes we ever filmed together, you telling me how you were a professional footballer. Yeah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You know, I don't remember. To add, that's what he told me. So bear in mind, I'm the only one that hasn't professed to be fucking brilliant at football. I have not professed to be brilliant. I have just listened Mate, to I'm, I'm sorry. I was quick. <laughs> Good in the tackle, yeah, real just, good stamina, brilliant cool. fitness, and I could cross the ball. Yeah, so, so yeah, it will then, be interesting. I can, then I can give you a lot of. I'm not a striker. I don't do penalties. I don't do shooting. Ah, oh, here he goes. We got the evidence here. But Tom did used to be a professional footballer. Right, he was a semi-professional ah. footballer, and I also need to maybe just oh, explain. Going up back no, track. I just. Just explaining that when I did play at a semi-professional level, it was, I was what they called an impact sub. So they just brought me on for 20 minutes um, at the end of the game. And I only played two games um, is probably what I should say. And I haven't kicked a ball for Who 20 is years. a semi-professional footballer that's only ever played two games? Well, I just used to go to all the training, make them all laugh. Never really got picked for the team. And then I got picked for a couple of games as a sub. In one of them, I got a yellow card because I didn't know how to do a throw-in. <laughs> Throwings are a nightmare when you're learning. And actually, they do professional, they do foul throws on every single game. There's not one throw in that's been a, 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 a legit throw in for the last 10 years. Every foul is a foul throw. Um, I actually think my predictions, I think Carl is a dark horse. I'll tell you why. Because he said to me, he plays five aside. Now, I don't mind what? five aside. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I, what? Right, right, right. So he said, I haven't kicked a ball in 20 years. You're doing keep ups all over Instagram, <laughs> training for it. Mate, Carl... you're the semi fucking professional. Grow up. It was a, it was a pub team. That's not semi professional. That's not semi professional. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's not. Semi -pro it's not. <laughs> Someone Google it now. It is. It's not. What? If you right. play for it, if you play Sunday League, it's semi pro, isn't it's it? It's not. No, it's not. It's definitely not. What do you mean it's, it's not? It's not. I played Sunday League. I played for my county, my university. And oh, he was um... still fucking not professional. Oh, in no. Semi. Don't take that away from me. You've taken you've taken away the fact I'm in my mid thirties. You've aged <laughs> me by five years. I'm so much shorter. And he thought he was a semi professional footballer. Don't <laughs> take that away from me. Google it. Find out. I'm pretty sure Ryan. if you if you play if you play Semi Sunday professional league, footballer definition. It's when you get paid. Yeah, on, on a Sunday full time like basis. Oh, no, got, well, not on a full time basis. I did get, get paid. paid. I did get paid. Did you? Yeah, paid to yeah. fucking leave. In in sandwiches. Brilliant. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> they receive regular payment from their team or company. No, I, I wasn't a semi professional footballer then. I played two ah. games for the pub team twenty years ago. Right. I'm holding right. my hands up. You're going into this as a semi-professional footballer in my eyes. Right. Adam's well, no. going into it as a left back in the changing room. Let, let me tell you why I think Carl. Carl will, and I tell you now, Carl will win the shooting um, uh, uh, challenge. We should just just before you say that, Adam, we should explain that when we when we go to Swansea to um, to do the the football episode that ties in with the end of the Euros, there's going to be various different challenges that we are having filmed well let's make on the them day. up now let's let's figure out what okay we're fine do. fine let's do it let's work out what we're going to do after adam's told me why he thinks you're going to be good because you play five aside that right. i didn't know you did it's, right i'll tell you why because five aside is 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 different to 11 asides right yeah because there's less people <laughs> <laughs> clever but there's more in, um, there's more kind of inclination to shoot. And if you're playing right wing, you will be you 
be taking far more shots than someone who's played 11 aside. So my prediction is for the shooting, possibly the penalties, I think Carl will win. I want to know okay, what let's 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 is. work out let's work out the challenges then. You want to know what my prediction is? What? When I played football, oh, I was a defender, gosh. so left back. I was quick, good in the tackle, real good stamina, brilliant fitness, and could cross the ball. <laughs> True. Yeah, so should be interesting. <laughs> should be <laughs> interesting. Should be interesting, Adam. Yeah, Carl sent me yet. that, and I went. I mean, that's not a text. That's a fucking CV. <laughs> Adam's auditioning for Colchester United. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so, boys. Gareth Southgate, give him the call up, son. <laughs> Penalties. So, we get, we do obviously a penalty shootout. Where free we, kicks. Uh, where free kicks. Yeah, free <laughs> kicks. All right. Crossbar challenge got to be in there. Crossbar Come challenge. On. So, who can it? So, we're doing penalties, free kicks. Who can hit the crossbar? So, you get like five goes and whoever hits the crossbar. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Fancy then maybe a little assault course. That's pretty good. Is there is there anything else? There isn't anything else I can think of that's football. I hadn't thought of free kicks. We could do one on one. One on one. One on one might be quite good. So one one of us goes in goals, and then, and one then the on other one. the other player starts a run. Yeah, one on one sound quite good. Or I tell you what's a really um, fun one is you put the ball on the penalty spot, and then you have to run to the other side of the like the the far end of the pitch. And then you run from one net to take a pe- and then you take a penalty, but you can't stop running. You can't stop. You can't walk it. You've got to run and see if your legs got anything in them to get you from one side of the pitch to the other to take the penalty. Well, so what, should we basically having the longest run up ever? Is that what you mean? Yes. yes. Right. Okay. So you place the ball, you run to the right other side of the goal, then you come back and take that yeah, penalty. I would suggest you walk oh, to the other side of the goal. Don't run it because you're going to have to run the whole length of the pitch. Wow. Okay. Take That's easy. Penalty. Easy. Couldn't be any easier. I mean, Tom is the fittest guy I know. Yeah, but I, but also it does. It could be the fittest guy you know. But I, I run like I, I'm a cow because my legs don't belong to my body, and also I can't kick anything. <laughs> I don't have any football boots. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna need to go to JD Sports. I don't have any football boots. JD. What or, size are you, Ad? Uh, Sports Direct. Uh, I'm a ten and a half. Oh, no. You're out as well. I got eights and eights and a half. I guarantee, all I got. guarantee Mrs. Westcott was a happy woman before she was killed. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what that even means, but <laughs> lol. Um, I got a cup. I got, about... got big feet. Big feet, big socks. Socks. Oh, okay. I got, I got about <laughs> nine pairs of football boots here, but they're all. But none of them will fit me or Adam. No, they're all eight and a half. I've got, I've got some, I've got some boots. Have you got a spare pair, Adam? Course no. he has. No, bugs. I only have one. Have you got shin pads, Ad? You're gonna need shin pads. Why? Because <laughs> we're gonna be kicking the shit out. Of you. <laughs> we don't need shin pads. No, I, I do we need shin pads? No, yeah. we don't. No, we don't. I'm not gonna go Ball and buy kick. some shin pads. It's it's penalty. I'll lend you some shin pads. I got loads. Uh it's gonna be hot. We just we don't need shin pads. Oh, look, coming to Swansea. Really I'm pretty crap. sure I've looked, it's at, the I've looked at the weather. I've looked at the weather. Guaranteed to rain. It, it's gonna shit down with rain. You want to go full shin pads? Full <laughs> kit yeah. Why? No one does that in training. Just put I your socks do. on. You're doing this in training. I love the fact that Adam Westcott knows what the training pro... You Same want to go professional like you, Tom. You want to go full shin pads? They don't do that in normal training. I've, how many wheels. training sessions have you been to in the build-up for this episode? Just in my life in general. You know, since I've been playing since 92, done all sorts of teams. I've never... We've never done shin pads in training ever. <laughs> but do you know hey, what? He's been playing since 1992. He's quick, <laughs> good in the tackle, real good stamina, brilliant got fitness, a, and he I have got, cross a wall. <laughs> I've got a feeling he is going to have our pants down in this one, Carl. I, I have a will. feeling he will as well. I, I think, think Carl will be a dark horse. I think Carl's going to be a dark horse. Be your dark horse. Based on the fact that Carl plays five aside, and based on the fact that you've got any previous football knowledge. Hang on, no, hang on. Take the five aside. I haven't played for a year. We've been in COVID. Yeah, I know, but it's I like riding run, a bike. I haven't left my house for a year. Yeah, but it's like riding the a bike. Two people I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna see in a year. Well, look, we'll have a kick about. We'll have a kick about first. Just get a, get used to the ball, get a feel for the ground, get the speed of the the, uh, the grass. And we'll get into it. <laughs> I think you're thinking about this a lot more than we are. <laughs> thinking, I'm, I'm... How can we make a twat of Adam? 
<laughs> and, and 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 get some footage for this con. Well, with the, the other challenges that are coming up, for the other thing we're going to do, that you'll get plenty of footage doing that. <laughs> I know of all of us, me included. I reckon it. Adam's going to batter us, Tom. I think so. I honestly I do. So. Mate, if, if, if it's predictions for places, I think Adam will win outright. Yeah. And I think a so. bit, bit like the Bake Off with you and me, it will be on the day who Did gets that. lucky. Yeah. yeah. I think that's my predictions. Um, no amount of five aside or semi professional football can prepare you for shock or aid. There was a point where we, when we went, let's do this as an episode, where in my head I went, did I at one point over egg the fact that I used to play Sunday League and maybe make it sound a little bit better? And is that De- going to come back and definitely. bite? Definitely. Right, Carl I mean, sent me you- a message. Let me read. Carl <laughs> sent me a message. Because I was trying to get the lie of the land. I was trying to see. Because I've. I know I'd, you've never spoke about football, Tom. So I'm thinking, no, I don't think so. And then me and Carl were talking, right? And he said, I said to Carl, and you can, this is in black and white. I said, um, here's my football history, blah blah blah. But I'm not a striker, so Take I'll yourself. be just as bad as you and Tom. And then Carl says, I'm all right, but a Tom apparently got offered a professional contract. <laughs> I said, did he? Who for? I don't believe him. Carl said, no idea. I said, never in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> As if, what do you mean i got offered a professional contract i'm sure you said that in one like, in one episode no i don't think so it's like me going i think I'd, like I'd, an early episode you said about being a semi-professional when we, when we were when we were in marcos played football, i did if it wasn't for you i did on. say um that i played semi-pro but i never said i'd got offered a uh, uh like trials at west ham or something like that no. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden you tended to J from the in between us. Boys, aside oh. from aside from the football to not make it a, like a totally football related episode. Yeah. How do you think it's going to be when we when we meet up again cuz I've become so used to doing it like this and I've I've said to all of you for so long, oh, I can't wait for the day when we get to to meet up again and that's that's going to happen. Next week. Pe- yeah, pe- next week for us and for everybody yeah. who watches it. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. And obviously, I've never met Carl before. And but if we, if you look back at what we've done and how you have given so much uh, to to people with the lockdown, Tom, with the um, the Saturday night takeaway, that okay, that was such a moment in time. And that's how obviously I met Carl. And so all those kind of things, everything we've done for this last year and a bit, was it year and two or three months? The the um, Saturday night, the podcast, the West Enders, the quizzes. It's going to be like, wow, it's, it's going to be a really good moment. It's going to be a, a good moment. I, um, I have organized it so that we've got, um, he, was, he was on the show uh, a, few, a few weeks ago, a couple of months ago, John, who came on. A couple of months um, ago, yeah. And he's, he's quite good with the camera. And I've just said to him, would he, would he like to come and film it so that we can, because I, I, I don't want to be holding a phone at the, or a camera at the point yeah, where yeah. we sort of meet up again. I'd like that to be mm. like an organic thing. But also I've said, and I think it's a really cool idea. I've said, me and you, Adam, should descend on Carl's house so we can get into one car with him. Because I think that there's just something about the three yeah. of us being in a confined space that will make Carl want to um, end it all now. Yeah. You're not making this sound appealing, boys. Listen, we've got to get to bloody Swansea. He lives in Tynmouth. I'm in Stafford. It's such a long way. What even is Swansea? Is it an mm-hmm. animal? <laughs> is, it, is it a food? Um, but no, I'm, I'm like, for me, I genuinely, the whole, because no one will know this, but we've been preparing for this day because we're filming several things that are going to come out for the podcast when we're together. And I'm, I, I enjoy doing the podcast with you guys like this, but um and I get excited about it when we when we sit down and have a chat. But like the idea of uh, of meeting up again, I think it's going to be great. I've I wanted I've wanted it for months. Hmm? I, think that'll, I am looking forward to having a beer together. I think that'll be nice. Yeah, it'd be good. It'd be really good. What's your tip, lad? Oh, lager, sometimes cider. <laughs> <laughs> I I set you up perfectly for it. If I if I only take credit on that, that's all I, I'm happy. Well, I threw well, that tennis ball up and you battered it. Different drinks for different, different needs. needs. <laughs> What's yours, Carl? Um, just a lager. Lager. Yeah. I quite I quite like a shandy. I'll be honest. 
I like a flute of Moet. Of course he does. There it is. It's not pronounced that. No. no um, if he doesn't, I, if he doesn't pop a bottle of champagne or prosecco at the end of this football episode, I'll be very disappointed if he's not spraying his little prosecco bottle. Also, I know what we've got coming up in August as well, and we've got an amazing month coming up in August because we're doing loads more where we're allowed to meet up. Um, but I'm a bit disappointed for the one that's coming out on my birthday that we're not going like racing or something like that, and we're doing something that I'm absolutely terrible at as well. Yeah. So anyway, aside yeah. from meeting up and being best, the three best friends that ever did live, what else have you been up to? Anyone played any gigs? I played a gig. Oh yeah, my gig story. Hit me with it. Yeah. Okay. So I I got asked. My my agent rang me and said, "There's a fan that would like you to go and play her." Her dad had basically got in touch and said, would like you to go and play her 21st birthday party. They've booked a restaurant in the Celtic Manor in Newport. <clears throat> and the Celtic Manor is, they, they held a Ryder Cup there. It's like big, you know, a big deal. Right? I, know, uh, I know where the Celtic Manor yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. It's that manor with um, Celtic Manor written above it. That's right. Yeah, you got it. And um, that's the one. So, so I, I, so they Down you asked go. me to play this gig, and I was like, okay, well, <laughs> well I missed that. <laughs> what did he say? I missed it. So, I, <clears throat> so the agent called and said, the dad is organizing it. He's told the daughter that he's going to play. Is he time. having a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Why the f do you guys come into Swansea? <laughs> Stay in your own country. Off out the wheels. So anyway, we're at Celtic Manor. It's the manor yeah. that says oh, Celtic above it. You're killing me, guys. I'm lo- listen, um, I love it all. I love the Celtic. I love the, the manor. manor. Anyway. <laughs> so this dad had called the agent and said, my story's going to be rubbish now in comparison to all this. That's the problem with this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell my story. No, I want you. Yeah, come on. It's going to be rubbish. No, go on. Go on. It hasn't even got a good punchline. Go on. So, I mean, no, I, I am interested to hear about um, you actually doing a gig. Cause... It's my first gig back in for, like, forever. Before you tell me, before you do tell us about it, I remember seeing you put on Instagram, because I think it was a Sunday, wasn't it? You did the yeah, gig. Yeah, I think so. Because the podcast was straight after, and you did like a little promo for the podcast. Yeah. And I remember having not seen that sort of you got like a little bit of adrenaline in you you're like yeah i've just i've just done a gig make sure you watch the podcast later and i was like wow he's got a little twinkle in his eye so yeah. it obviously went well please tell us the story and we won't cut you <clears> off this time i promise well, it was weird because so I, I i went and did this gig it, it takes an hour to get from swansea to the celtic shut up <laughs> <laughs> and this that this dad had organized it for his daughter she's a fan of the band I had to go and play two songs with an acoustic guitar. And I said to the agent, <laughs> look at Adam. <laughs> I said to the agent, <laughs> oh, boys, this is f-ing rubbish. <laughs> we know we what do you say to the agent? <laughs> I said, what about like PA and stuff? What? Because I, I said, what about PA and stuff like that? Because... You know, it, it's in a re- they've booked a restaurant out. And, you need a PA. Yeah. And the, the agent said, no, just go in the restaurant and sing on uh, next to the table. Just take your sister <laughs> and sing for them, right? First gig back in like forever, like a year. So I was like, oh, that's a bit weird though, isn't it? Just singing next to them on the table. I said, but they, so they've booked the restaurant out, right? And the agent was like, yeah, 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 yeah. They booked the restaurant. So I drove the hour to the gig. I, I waited in the car until the daughter arrived. Six of them. Only six of them. Because <laughs> you can only have six at a table, can't yeah, you? Yeah, sure. So, so you stood you stood next to the table with your guitar. It gets better. The restaurant was f- full. Excellent. Just full of punters. Just normal people that were like, what is this? And I had to sing two songs to this girl for her birthday, who was like clearly embarrassed at the fact that I'd turned up to sing two songs for her. But it was great. They, they enjoyed and, and it was it was fun. And, <clears throat> you know, we had, we had a nice time kind of thing. And they were lovely. They were a lovely, lovely family. 
And mm. then <clears throat> I had another one straight after it. Like, so I was like driving home to go and play this other gig. Yeah. The first all that was kind of like, a, oh, that was a weird one, but I'll get like the next one will be like more like a proper gig. So I turned up to this venue, which they'd like, they got a, like someone's house basically, but it's, it was like a, a party, I guess. <clears throat> and um, I turned up and then the guy, because <laughs> the guy had messaged the agent on the Monday and said, is like, uh, it's really short notice, but is Carl free on Saturday to come and play this gig? And the agent was like, yeah, 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 I saw that, I saw that. So I drove straight back from the Celtic to play this gig and turned up and it was it was next week. Oh. So, this gig was that one. so I had like the weirdest first gig back experience <clears throat> ever. It is. Yeah, that's, that's a bit weird. I don't I don't usually like it. If I'm doing background music and someone says, can you just play to that table over there? It's like, not really. It does. It does. It's, yeah. it's slightly reminiscent of... Um, are they called mariachi bands that go yeah. from table to table? Yeah, yeah, and they, you're, you're like on holiday in Spain or something like that, and a group of five just descend on the table, and you, sometimes people love yeah. it, I would love it, and then that, that table of people just sort of, uh, I don't know, and then they give them some money and they go away. Carl, what do you think you're going to be like when you meet Adam Westcott for the first time? I imagine it's going to be like meeting a celebrity. It's like going to be meeting my hero. Yeah, it's gonna be like meeting David Beckham. Not that David Beckham is my hero, but yeah, just, it's a football reference, isn't it? So it'd be like meeting Harry Kane for you, meeting my my hero, Adam West. Mm. Yeah, I think for me, it's probably going to be like that time that I was down at the job centre and I was sitting next to all the other losers. <laughs> I, and I think for me, oh. it's going to probably be like that time um, when Adele cleaned up at the Grammys. Mm. <laughs> very good. Very good. Good old reference. Topical reference. <laughs> have, you, have you had your awards in the post yet, Ad? No, I haven't, Carl. Where are they? Well, maybe you'll get them in person. Maybe that maybe that'd be quite nice having it actually filmed and getting it presented. And Yeah, maybe someone's going to win Best Footballer. Oh, yeah. Because I have got I have That'd got awards you, left Carl. over Man there. of the tournament. <laughs> Did you hear that, Carl? No. What? Went, maybe someone's going to win best footballer, and Adam subtly went, "Well, it ain't going to be you, Carl." <laughs> no, I said it would probably be you, Carl. Oh, I thought you said it's not no, going to be you, Carl. No, I, I think I think it, it Carl... will be you, Carl, because when I play football, I was a defender. This is a reference from 15 Wait, years ago. In the tackle, real Muppets good stamina, brilliant fitness. I could cross the ball. Yeah, so should be interesting. Yeah, it should yes, be interesting, should. which means I haven't played for ages. It's going to be interesting. I think I think what you'll do is... I 10 think, out of 10 in school. 10, 10 out of 10 in my year nine. GCSE bacon. Wow, when I heard that at the end, that killed me. That was brilliant. I did, for, for, I did Carl, for, for your reference, at the end of the Bake Off episode, when I played that clip again and again and again, I did ring Adam and say, Is it cool, yeah? Are you cool with me doing this? Because it's funny, but I don't, you know what I mean? At yeah, no point do I, do I want you to... It's all in love, isn't it? Yeah, I just love doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I was thinking of that, but... No, it's, it is. It's, defi- it's definitely all done out of love. What's the dress code, boys? What, what are we supposed to wear for this football thing? Uh, well, sh- I'm shorts. I've just got shorts, socks. Not well, shin we've pads. established Adam doesn't want to wear shin pads because you don't wear shin pads for training. Is that right, Ad? That is right. You, you don't need to. Shirts or skins? <laughs> it's not a prison game. Well, I, thought, I thought there was um, some sort of uh, surprise in terms of the tops. Well, maybe. I, I think we need to wait until we're there to see what's happening top wise. I need to find a pair of <laughs> football boots. <clears throat> well, you I'm will just gonna... need to because it will be on grass. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to wear. I mean, uh, well, are we, are we going to even get changed. What, what are so your boots, just gonna... Dad? What boots? Have you got your boots there? Yeah, I have. I've got them here. Are Guaranteed. we giving away boots at the, end of the, at the end of the game like professionals? <laughs> get in there, look at his boots. Have you just bought them? Yeah, They'd I have never be worn. Thirty five. Oh, go buy yourself a pair of boots. I, well, I'm going to have to now, and I'm going to have to do it quite quickly. Um, I'm, which probably means I'll wait until the day before. I'll forget. Tom and will have them all. Like, the award. <laughs> Tom will have them all uh, 
customized <clears throat> with the English flag and TV 23. Yeah, I, I, again, I would um, if if this was going to be something that we did regularly. It, I imagine it's us shooting a podcast together outside playing some football and then whatever I've bought will go in the bin. Mr. Bin. Are we, are we giving away the shirts at the end of the episode or the boots? We're gonna give well, if you're going to throw them in the bin, so you might as well give them away. All right, fine. I'll give away my boots. Who, who wants a pair of boots I've worn for an hour running around Swansea and really? Charity. Charity. I, do, I think charity shop would still go, give them back. <laughs> <laughs> I, think uh, I, think, I think the T-shirts. Oh, do you know what? That might be cool to sign a T-shirt. Oh, it'd, be, it'd be nice to frame it, wouldn't it? I think. I nice think. I, I think if what we've got planned comes off, I think we're going to want to keep these. Yeah. I don't know you want to want to frame it. <laughs> I think Carl said, "I'm not sure you'll want to frame it." <laughs> well, if I take off your signature, Carl, just mine and Tom's. <laughs> It can go next to the uh, 2006 award for musical innovation and next to the uh, the Awkward Turkey podcast award. The awards that you're going to get as well there. You're yeah. going to get a couple of awards, don't worry. I'm Absolutely. going to need a new cabinet for these awards. You yep. are. You are going to need a new cabinet. Um, I don't think we can end the episode on Adam needing a new cabinet. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh my God. Like boys, like, it, it's been a very, very, very long Period, a long year for everybody and, and I, honestly I mean it I'd say it's in the nice spot I, I can't wait to actually get together kick a football around have a chat not over Zoom and then um, go and get some dinner in a pub mm. and, and film that as well and make it, make another episode right for sure yeah really look forward great. to it bye <laughs> we can't end it like that uh how can we end it? And are we putting a little wager on uh, on Monday? What, and who's going to win? Yeah. Can I not bet on myself? Because it's the only way I'll win. Can we uh, Can we maybe back back ourselves and put a 10 on ourselves? So that there's a little bit of bunts and burner. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Ad is so... Confident, it worries no, me. No, I told you, he I have is told you. So bloody the skills, hot. the skills I'm good at are great for games, but for shooting, yeah, I am not a striker. Ball. Christ, I'm a bike. I am not a striker. <laughs> um, well, I'll tell you what, guys. Um, you're not going to have to wait that long to find out who is, um, who's the best awkward football player that there is because next week when the finals of the Euros <laughs> are on TV you will also be watching yeah, the three you'll have of to, us. You'll have to decide whether you want to watch the finals of the Euros. Oh, is it on at the same three. time? Yeah. So um, next week it's a big week. It is the final of the European is it the European Championships? Is that what it's called? The, the Euros. Euros? The Euros. And it is also the day that we Shocker get together. Shockerade! For Shocker Aid. Um, and we will be on just before the Euros. Um, oh, centre stage. Showing the boys. Semi-professional by there. Showing the boys exactly how it's Five done. Five side by you. <laughs> and uh, keep you happy by there. Keep you happy, Westcott. That's what all the girls call him. <laughs> before he kills him. Thank you so, so much for watching <laughs> this episode of the Awkward Turkey Podcast. Is he having um, a laugh? <laughs> Adam doesn't kill his girlfriends. We will be having a laugh. Absolutely. We promised you big laughs because we've got the finals of the Euros. And just but just before you watch the final, um, you get to watch the real pros at work when us three get together in Swansea um, for our Shocker Aid Awkward Turkey special. It's going to be visual. So if you're listening to this, I would advise watching next week's episode on YouTube because... Um, Someone's going to win 30 quid. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if there's going to be betting involved. There will be betting. But here's a what, great thing. What football game is complete without a corrupt bet? <laughs> if you are watching this now, in the comments, in the comments, I'd like to know yeah. who, you who you think, think is, going to win. is going to be the best on the, uh, on the Shocker Aid football special of the Awkward Turkey podcast. So type it in the comments below. Probably get like a phone in, phone in tab there. Do you want me to just put your phone number on it, Ad? 
can they text <laughs> <laughs> no definitely not <laughs> um so yeah leave a Definitely comment there not. and when you finish doing that and when you finished watching this episode please 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 leave a review if you're listening to it on itunes um like it if you're watching it wherever you're watching it leave a comment on the actual video not in the chat box leave a comment in there and if you think somebody would like to watch three men in their mid-30s kick a football around in swansea Lit just for before the final share it with them as well so they get to see it too both in our 30s yeah, both 30s. Both you, 30s. you guys. And, both and, in our 30s. Oh, my God. <laughs> how old are you? John's are you ambulance called? ready for you, too. How old are you? 33. Okay. And Tom's 35, yeah. Okay. Yes, not 40. 40. Not 40. All in our th- He's <laughs> nearly 30. <laughs> and 40. Boys, do you realise I've tried to sign this episode off about six times oh, in a row sorry, now and we're Tom. still going? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry, boss. I know we're all excited. We are all excited and we are all in our 30s. Join us next right, week. Let's do it at... again. <laughs> Over to you. Join us next week at seven o'clock um, or whenever it is. <laughs> Join us next week. Fucking hell, everyone's gone. <laughs> Everyone's gone. Join us next week um, for the Awkward Turkey podcast. It's a big, big, big special. You do not want to miss this one. If you loved Bake Off, it's a bit like that, but with no cakes and a lot more balls. And who doesn't want to see Adam Westcott's balls? Oh, you're going to love me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Thank you.